welcome back it's miss ashley and i am here for a new story today today we are going to read over does god care what my body looks like it's not a good question i think we all have this question sometimes and as i have said almost every day most of the things that we have been going through not only help you but they're helping miss ashley and maybe even your parents um so ask your friends and your family to watch it with you because um, some of these things are just so helpful for all of us. And I want to tell you today, if you are on here and you are watching me today, I am so proud of you and I love you so much. And I just want you to know how special you are. Okay. So I'm going to start with that. And then we are going to read about, does God care what my body looks like? Okay, so let's get started. Parents, there's going to be a few scriptures in this that I'm going to give you to go over with the kids. And um, I won't be going over all of the scriptures today, maybe a few of them, but this is a pretty long story for today. So I'm going to try to go through this pretty quickly. Um, I'm trying to keep all the videos under 10 minutes just so we all um, stay with it and don't get bored with it, okay? All right. So God doesn't care whether your eyes are brown or blue. You see my eyes? My eyes are blue. Maybe you have brown eyes or maybe you have green eyes or maybe you have blue eyes like Miss Ashley. Um, but God, he doesn't care whether your eyes are green or blue because he designed you. He doesn't care whether your hair is curly or straight or whether you wear glasses or use the wheelchair. Some people use wheelchairs. God doesn't care what kind of situation or um, position we're in. He loves us no matter what. God creates his children in all shapes, all sizes, colors, and all kinds of abilities. So when God designed us, he designed us all so perfect. And I think I've talked about this before. We are all made up differently because God made us all different for a reason. We are all put on this earth to do different things. That's why we have different abilities. Um, because God has a plan for all of us, okay? Um, so God makes each of us in a amazing and wonderful way. And parents, this is going to be Psalms 139, 14. Um, and that is kind of going over that verse that I just went over. Because he made you special, you are one of a kind. You are so special. You are one of a kind out of everyone in the world. Is that not amazing? You know how many people you see in a day, right? You are one of a kind out of all of those people. Is that not the most special feeling to know that? I hope that makes your heart feel so special. It makes mine feel so special. It really, really does. No matter what you look like or what your body looks like or how your body works, God loves you just the way you are. God also wants your body and your soul to be as healthy as possible. Now, parents, this is going to be Colossians, or um, I'm sorry, Thessalonians 1. 523 and um John verse 2 Okay for a healthy body eat nutritious foods get enough sleep and try to get lots of sunshine and exercise Okay so why are these things important So if no one has ever taught you this or if you've never heard this the pyramid of our body God sees our body as the pyramid, okay? The pyramid means that God made our bodies, okay? God made our bodies to be a certain way. God wants us to be healthy. He wants us to eat nutritious foods. He wants us to get enough sleep, lots of sunshine, and exercise because the temple of our body is so important. And to do these things, is taking care of our body and that's what God wants for us. Now, Miss Ashley is not good at all of these things and maybe you aren't good at some of these things. Maybe your parents aren't good at some of these things and that's okay because you always have your own decisions to make. 
you can make the decision whether you want to be healthy or whether you want to go to sleep at a good time or whether you want to eat a healthy meal or go run the block or walk the block if you can't run to be healthy to um, take care of the temple which is your body which is what God designed so perfectly so if you take care of your temple then you are taking care of what God made for you okay all right for a healthy soul read your Bible talk and listen to God in prayer Go to church and spend time with friends who love God too. Okay, so right now you are spending time with Miss Ashley. So we have taken care of some of that today, right? Right? Okay. So we are also going to pray together. But what I want you to work on today is I want you to work on reading your Bible. Maybe read a, maybe read a scripture that we went over today. Um. Maybe try to get some more sleep tonight if you didn't get enough sleep. Um, talk and listen to God. Like I've told you before, if there's something in your heart or your soul that doesn't feel good, talk to God about it. Even if it's something that feels healthy and that you think is, is making you happy, you can go to God with happy thoughts. It doesn't just have to be a bad or negative thing that you go to God for because God is there for you no matter what. It doesn't matter if it's good or bad. He's still there to listen, okay? And he can improve happy feelings too. So he can go from, make you from happy to happier, right? So who doesn't want to be happier? So God to go, go to, whoop, go to God for that. Okay. We are a healthy, why are, let, let me start that again. Why are a healthy body and soul important? Why are healthy soul and body important? Can you answer that question? Can you? Okay, let's go over it real quick. Because God loves you and he wants you to be his special helper, sharing his love with others. Okay, so Miss Ashley was called by God to share the love of him with you. Okay, so what I want you to do for me today is I want you to do what Miss Ashley's doing. And I want you to share the love of God with others, okay? So even if you want to share my video, you're still sharing the love of God, okay? Or maybe you want your parents to write down some of the things that you've learned from Miss Ashley, or maybe some of the things that you learned today from your parents, or maybe that you learned at church last night or Sunday, anything, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you are teaching. If you are teaching the word of God to others and you are helping others learn about God, that is what he wants from you. Okay? So let's do that today. Let's make that our homework for today. Okay? In fact, the Bible says that God loves you so much that nothing, even not sickness or death, can separate you from his love. That is going to be Romans 8, 38 through 39. Isn't that amazing? It is so amazing. Okay, parents. So Romans 38 through 39 is going to be that scripture that I just went over. Okay. God loves you so much that he wants to live you to live with him forever. So God wants you in his heart forever. Okay. So today, the things that we're going to work on, so we're going to work on all of the things that we talk about that are going to make our bodies healthy. Okay. And then what I want you to do is today you're going to share and spread the word of God. Okay? Miss Ashley loves you so much. And here in a little while, I'm going to get back on and we're going to ask Jesus into our hearts together. Okay? I'll see you here in a little while. Bye. Miss Ashley loves you so much.